you can see in the previous clip, they're actually fighting a knife with a bare hand is very very dangerous. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not advisable for you to actually do hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, I mean hand-to-knife combat. Yeah. Uh, you have to find a way to escape from a fight like this because 90% uh, of a uh, hand and knife combat ends up with a guy with a knife killing the barehanded guy. So... The way we, we hold it, you see, it, it eventually if you, have, you have a chair like this. This part will actually uh, give a good protection from, from the side. Okay? What you need to carry is protection to your other side and your head. Is, I have more reach than my attacker with you know small blade. You see, it's just it's no match. You see, this 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 knife is, is no match. Try try attacking me. You see, so he, he can only go to my face, but I'm attacking at the same time. So it's it's difficult. Even if, if he try to take my head, see? Okay, he can try to pull the chair. Try pull the chair. Okay, but you see, this is just too strong. You can just you know swing like this, and it's terrible for him. Okay, try to attack me. See? He's, he's actually afraid because I can just stab at him, stab at him, and then when I attack, I can kick his groin, you know. Uh, no problem, he's, he's holding a knife, kick his groin, no problem. He's the cheater, okay? <laughs> so let's say you have an uh, inferior ch chair like this. This is definitely inferior because the legs is they are plastic and there is a, a bar here that someone can actually grab. And it's, uh, it's very difficult for you to check him out if he's grabbing mm -hmm. this part. So you have to be careful of the weapons that you use. Uh, try practicing it. You see, this is a lot lighter, but it can still pack some damage if you go and, 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 and trust. Make sure you trust with your body. When, when you trust, you put your weight in front and you trust at him. You know, trust at the guy. And you, this is a uh, best recommended kind of uh, self-defense weapon, but if it's what you have, you've got to make a full use of it. If you can't fend off your attacker, you can you know, at least scare him and probably you, you can try to escape.